Well, clearly we have high expectations and high standards, and there's no doubt um, that Keith understands the gravity of the uh, major failing in judgment uh, that he had this past weekend. And I think he also understands, as we all understand, um, he has very, very small margin of error moving forward. So it's hard to get into all those hypotheticals, but I think we could honestly come up with some, some thoughts as to if he did anything further in that regard, would he be here? No. Did, hey, Sean, did he come here with essentially a clean slate? Is it, is, would that be a good way to characterize it? After the T2 DUIs? Well, I, I think I would refer back to what Mike said, and Mike said it well on Monday. Um, he went through the normal processes of hiring here at the university, and he was hired. Um, you know, beyond that at this point, uh, I really can't speculate or give any further specifics okay. for a couple reasons. One, it's a personnel matter. Got it. Um, and, and two, keeping in mind that Keith is walking through a judicial process, and uh, we want to make sure that he has an opportunity to walk through that. Sean, did his prior arrests have any impact on his punishment? I think the totality uh, of the circumstances had an impact on what we looked at. You know, again, major, major failure in judgment. Um, Mike has done a tremendous job throughout the process. Uh, we're fortunate to have a football coach here that stands for all the right things and was very thoughtful in the process. And so all of that went into it. Uh, I think all those qualities that Mike talked about that Keith brings to the table, but you got to look at the other part of it too. So I can tell you, we looked at it very, very thoroughly. Um, and we talked to a number of people to make sure that we were headed in the right direction. And um, I think we are. Uh, he, he's, a, he's, a, uh, he's, a, he's a young man that's uh, worthy of an opportunity of redemption here. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I have a lot of faith that he would do the right thing moving forward. And as Mike said, um, he is dynamic within our building. He is changing lives. Right? And so our hope is, is that he'll be able to do that uh, with the misgivings uh, that he's had up to this point. And uh, it's a two-way street. We're reaching out to help him and strengthen his life. He's going to do the same for us. Well, Eric, as you know, we're accustomed to a lot of pushback on a lot of different things in the public. And uh, we know that this was uh, a very, very serious matter. Um, and I think we all understood through the process that we weren't going to make everybody happy. Uh, especially those who have been uniquely affected by that sort of behavior. And so we respect that and appreciate that. 